Welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars with Earl and Nancy Stewart. Reach them with your questions at 877-960-9960. When I, I was supposed to turn in my, my two vehicles, uh, I got a card from somebody saying to check with us and bring the card to us and we'll go over it. Very, I mean, it was very official looking, but it was very unnecessary because when I brought one car there, they gave me a sheet that looked like uh, four pages that I had 14 accidents. The other car, which was in two accidents, had nothing. Nobody complained about one thing. It was amazing. The car was black, immaculate, never in an accident. Had less than, had like 28,000 miles on it when we brought it back in. The way the uh, sales lady saw it and said, there's not a single thing wrong with this car. What the heck is this three pages? And that was the truth. I had a car, the second car we brought in, had two accidents. When I brought that in, they couldn't find one thing wrong with the cars. So you talk about the end of the lease inspection, uh, where the leasing company has a check sheet that you have to go over. You raise a, an important point because everyone should be very careful about that. You should be physically present when the inspection is made, or you should at least go around and go through the check sheet when you return the car to the car dealership that you lease the car from. And if you really want to be careful, you get your smartphone out, you take some pictures of the tires, of the interior and the exterior, and keep that as documentation. Yeah, the inspection should be made even if you don't return it to the leasing company. And sometimes the leasing company will visit you. Uh, it depends on where the car is leased and, and how it's leased. But there's always an end of lease inspection. And that's always a po- potential liability for you if you're leasing a right. car. Some leasing companies are absolutely terrible. They'll go after you for thousands of dollars of damages that don't exist. Uh, Sometimes the damages do exist, but they exist because someone drove the car and damaged the car after you turned it back in. So with all that said, when the car is in your custody and control and you're returning it, be sure you have documentation, be it pictures or a copy of the lease inspection form signed by you and a representative, to defend yourself when they come after you. I would say in about half the cases, from my experience, the leasing companies go after repairs that are not justified. And you can Uh, usually, if you contest it, you can usually get them reduced or sometimes even eliminated. Hi, this is Earl Stewart. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to be notified of new videos that we post to our YouTube channel, simply click on the subscribe button at the lower right-hand side of the screen.